Hey guys and welcome to my first video in my knife review series. Today the review is going to be over the Kershaw Airlock. Now this here is a spring assisted knife, not a switchblade, there is a difference. A uh, little tip uh, for most spring assisted knives you'll see. If there's a flipper you have to press on the back, it's spring assisted. Uh, even if it looks like a stiletto switchblade, it's more than likely spring assisted and these are legal in every state. I'll make an entire video someday over the difference between spring assisted and a switchblade. Anyway, so this here is a spring assisted knife by uh, Kershaw. It is a tip up carry, which means when in your pocket the tip is well going to be up. The pocket clip is reversible, uh, it is at the bottom of the handle. And a lot of people like tip up carry because whenever you first pull it out of your pocket your hands are in the position to deploy it. I'm personally indifferent to which way I carry my knife because I carry so many knives and there are so many other ways or so many different ways that I like to carry each one. So I'm indifferent to it really. Uh, but some people will only carry tip up and some will only carry tip down. So this is I believe seven 0.25 inches overall and also if your state knife laws say that you are only allowed to have a six inch knife and under it does not include the handle it only includes the sharpened part of the blade uh, my table moved so this here is legal in every state uh, so you don't gotta worry about that and the only reason I keep saying that is California's got some really weird knife laws the pocket clip is reversible which means that you can take the pocket clip from this side and put it over here. Um, that's mostly used if you are left-handed uh, because the way it would be uh, is you flip the pocket clip over and then you'd be able to draw it out normally versus if you kept it in place you would actually have to draw it out kind of backwards. Uh, it has, and I might have already said this, but a glass filled nylon handle. It is a very, very comfortable grip. It's got good jimping on the back, which means little kind of bumps on the spine. They're not serrations, so not saw teeth or anything like that. So you just little bumps on the spine of the knife to help your thumb have a better place to grip and more control over it. And I believe that is all the specs about this knife. Now, here's how I'm going to rate knives on this series. We are going to go price, we are going to go quality, and um, overall just worth it. So, real quick, let me do a uh, paper test. This is straight out of the box. Ooh, I have not sharpened this, and it's just cleanly cutting through. Alright, do a shaving test. You guys won't be able to see this because of my lighting, and I don't feel like having to refocus my camera. Uh, but I'm going to see if it can shave hair off my arm. Uh, kids, don't try this. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, this is razor sharp. You won't be able to see it, but it's a good clump of uh, hair that I just was able to shave off my arm. Uh, so it is razor sharp right out of the package. So, oh, there's one other section by the way. Sorry, build. I'm going off the build, uh, the ergonomics and comfort, or how comfortable the knife is. Uh, this also goes hand in hand with practicality. Um, so for price, the way that I do this is twenty dollars and under is cheap. Uh, cheap does not mean bad, by the way. Uh, 22 I'd say about $40 is moderate, and $40 and over I consider expensive. So about 40 to 80 After 80 you are getting into grail knife territory. Um, so like bench maids and stuff. So this here comes in at $24.98. So it is a moderate price. Um, the overall build, practicality, and ergonomics of it is very comfortable in the hand. It'd be a very good work knife. Um, so on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a solid 8, 8.5. It's a really, really comfortable knife. Um, 
the overall just my opinion of this here is it is definitely worth uh, the only $25 uh, you get a spring assisted knife so quick deployment which is good especially if you ever need uh, say like you were in an accident and you're having to cut your seat belt you only get one or have one hand free just pull it out right there uh, it feels sturdy enough for work it comes razor hair shaving sharp right out of the package uh, again if you are a tip up guy this here is a good little knife for you it's got a very slim design it can it has some of a tactical look but it can also be used in a formal setting with a deep carry pocket clip so it doesn't stick over the edge of your pants this knife is definitely worth it uh, but yeah, so thank you guys for tuning into my first ever uh, episode on my new knife review series. I do hope that you guys enjoy this. Please like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.